Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Realme Band 2 with the Realme Link app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. So, let's begin here immediately, we have Realme Band 2, and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the App Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it. After we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to Safari, then the App Store. And here we have the Realme Link app which we can download and connect to our watch. So, we are going to download it really fast right now, and after we have done so, we're going to go inside and see how to connect our watch. So now that the app is done let's open it up and see what's inside. First it will ask permission to use Bluetooth and agree to the terms and conditions, and then allow the app to send notifications. Next you need to choose your location, and after you have done so you're set to go inside. So now we're going to see some of the options it has inside. Inside the app and home you've got a plus button where you can add devices, so we're going to click on it. First you need to be logged in to use the app you can sign in, or you can create a new account, and after you've done so we're ready to connect with the watch. When you click on add device it's going to start scanning for nearby devices and ask permission to use your location. You can also connect it by scanning the QR code on your watch with the scanner on the top right, where you need to allow the app to use the camera, and as you can see here, we have the QR code, and as we scan it, it will start to connect with our watch. First, it's going to ask to accept the pin so it can bind with your phone. And after you've accepted, you'll be paired successfully. Then it's going to ask to accept the service agreement and privacy policy, so we're going to agree and after that we will be set and ready to go inside and see some of the options inside. The first option we can see is face gallery where we can change the profile or face of our watch, which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces, with different categories, and you can choose whichever you like best, and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves, it will take a little bit of time, and it will download it and store it to our faces. After we downloaded it, it will change our watch face immediately. Next, we've got call reminder which we can leave it on or off. After that we've got notification where you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use and what notifications from, or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Next, we've got workout where you can choose which workout you want your watch to track from 90 workouts you can choose up to 14, like yoga, outdoor, indoor walk, outdoor, indoor running, cricket, basketball, pool swimming, and football. You can add or remove which ones you want based on your preferences. Next, we've got tiles which can change the widgets on your watch based on which ones you want to be shown. After that we've got the apps option where we can add or remove the apps inside your watch, this works with the apps it already has inside, and you can also rearrange the apps however you want. As you can see after we've changed it, we can see the apps that we've put and the order we've set. Next, we've got alarm where you can add any alarm that you want. 
You can label them however you want and make them repeat if you need them on weekdays, weekends, or every day. Next up we have Event Reminder where we can set any reminder for any event we want and set the date, time, and if you want to repeat it. After that we've got Health Reminder settings where you have Goal Reached Reminder, Sedentary Reminder which allows you to make reminders to stand up and move around every once in a while, also Drinking Reminder which allows you to set reminders to drink water and 24-hour heart rate monitoring. Next, we have more functions, where we have, find my phone, find my band, camera controller, and weather. And in the end, we've got the user guide which tells us how to use the app, device update which shows if you need any updates to your model, also MAC address and legal information. On your bottom right you've got your profile where you have your messages, your orders, your profile and settings where you can go into account and security settings, personalization settings, unit settings and others that you can change however you prefer. You can also click on your profile to change your information. Now let's go and see some of the health monitoring options, where you can track every activity you have done while wearing your watch and other health data like workout, sleep, heart rate, SpO2, pressure, period tracker and steps where you can see all the data which your watch has sent and gathered from monitoring you. You've also got face gallery and also explore on the bottom and pretty much anything you need on this app which works great with our watch. So, this is pretty much it on the Realme Link app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use and it works really well. This was all for today's video, you can also watch the previous one on how to connect your watch with Android. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.